the breaking news here. I saw this this morning and, you know, it hit, it struck a chord with me. Let me know if it strikes a chord with you. Nick Cannon is officially expect, expecting another baby with Abby Della Rosa, his ninth overall. Now, I read this and I was like, wait a second. I know Nick Cannon had kids with Mariah Carey and I think he had two kids with Mariah Carey. Who else did he have kids with? Nine kids? Are you serious? And I went and looked it up, and Nick Cannon, dude, has like five baby mamas. Five. This year, he has two women expecting children from him. Abby De La Rosa and some other woman uh, are expecting children from this man. And I thought, okay, nine is a lot. Like, you don't have nine children unintentionally. So I went and looked and see what he had to say about it. And he's like, yeah. I'm super intentional about it. I do it on purpose and I've, you know, gotten all these women pregnant, whatever. Each one was intentional and I did it with a choice and a purpose. And it seems like a lot of people on social media, although there were many who said, this is ridiculous. I can't believe this. I can't believe that you're going out in sort of recreational, like it's a recreational sport to create broken homes is essentially what he's doing. But a lot of people were going, well, Nick has money to support these children so it doesn't really matter. He should be able to go out and get as many women pregnant as he wants and have as many children as possible. Now, I'm not saying we legislate how many people you can get pregnant, although if I was a dictator, <laughs> <laughs> we'd be living in a new world. I honestly, if I was a dictator, I might consider making a law where it's like you pick one person and that's a person that you can have kids with. Uh, once you've had kids with one person, sorry, buddy. That's all you get. Make it work. Make it work. Because you're the one who decided to make a child. So make it work. And I see a lot of people going, well, Nick Cannon has money. It doesn't matter. It's not like these kids are ever going to experience like poverty or anything like that. Or they're going to be extremely privileged. So it doesn't matter that you are a singular man who has gotten five different women pregnant. And to that, I just say this seems to be the sign of what is a sick culture like something like this is being heralded as an amazing thing to do to have a ninth child to be a celebrity and specifically a black man because we all know the the stories around that and the whole stereotype of black fathers not being around to go around and do this and in one year in january of this year nick was at a baby shower with another mom posting up with her pregnant belly like oh i can't wait for this kid to come and now we have another woman pregnant it's just crazy to me and he's not the only celebrity who has done things like this taylor and i before the show were talking about dwight howard who has how many kids i think he's got five five kids okay so we're not quite at nine i like how we're like oh i think it's just five kids yeah just five <laughs> just five he's not quite at nine kids yet elon musk has what's like seven, seven kids i don't know someone fact check us and google up. these but how many kids he is trying to repopulate the earth though so yeah, we were talking about that, too. We're like, Elon has this mission of just, like, uh, we need more kids. So does that mean you have to go and impregnate multiple women? No. Elon has eight. You are literally one kid behind Nick Cannon. How do you feel, Elon Musk? An innovator, a genius, an intellect, and you are one child behind having the same amount as Nick Cannon with different women. <sighs> See, now, a lot of people say like, you know, you can't you can't levy criticism to Elon Musk because he's bought Twitter, because he's had Tesla, because he's doing all this stuff or whatever. That is a criticism that I will levy to you. You should not be going out and creating uh, kids that are born without their their dad fully present or without a, a family unit. It's, it's really ridiculous to me that, that this is happening and that people are cheering it on. People cheering it on and people aspiring to it, I think, is the worst thing for me. And it's a sign of where we're at. That because you have celebrity, because you have money, it's okay to create what is a not ideal situation. And not accidentally, willingly create what is a not ideal situation. I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts on Nick Cannon and creating a ninth kid. We all know Nick Cannon's like super crazy anyways. He was like... uh what who's that one like muslim black guy who louis farrakhan oh yeah he's a big like louis farrakhan fan he talks about how white people are animals and how melanin makes you a better person and that how white people are so less than uh black people or people of color or anybody who has melanin and he went on this whole rant saying the most disgustingly racist things you could possibly say and with such confidence just like he goes and impregnates women and leaves the, his kids in broken households with such confidence and yeah six line uh, and it has been trending luckily because people have been looking at this and going that's messed up 
that's really effed up for you to go and create nine kids and with five different baby mamas and just go, you know, and just keep going and keep going and keep going. And I'm sure next year, maybe he'll top it and we'll get three baby showers from Nick Cannon in one year. And we'll, we'll go from nine to 12. Uh, it's going to be just a joke at this point to look at people, look at celebrities like this and see how many kids that they can have with women. And to the women, my look should say that. That should just uh, communicate it all to you. That should communicate how I feel about you making... Yeah, because I'm not going to sit here and in my little white throne and just uh, throw shade at Nick Cannon. I'm throwing shade to you, too. It takes two to tango. It takes a woman to put herself in this situation and go, I don't care. Let's go ahead and have a kid when you got four other women who came before you in the line on the on the roster. Uh, so it takes two to tango thing. I think it is a sign of just sickness to go and do this and to put your child in a position where they could very possibly not have a father present at all in their lives. So not all the shade goes to Nick Cannon. It also goes to these women who've decided to put themselves in this situation as well. Anything else to add, Taylor? Yeah, I mean, I think this is, it's an interesting conversation because generally it's like, we're like pro-life people. We're mm -hmm. pro-wanting children. It's a good thing. It's a good thing for, for large families. That's a good thing. But large families, like <laughs> large households where people, where children have parents that are present and are there to raise them and inculcate yep. values and make them a part of a community and a society and be there for them. And, and this is like just the ability to bear a child it's not make you a man and just the ability to be a biological father does not make you a father like an mm -hmm. act like that you're that is there's a responsibility that comes with that yeah. and a mandate to be present and to uh just it, it's it's it just feels like such a cavalier attitude toward the creating a precious human life and part of that is the commitment to like being there and and fostering a, a an environment in which they can flourish and that's what makes the the elon musk um one so kind of disappointing is that he's a very data-driven guy he should know that all the data says that the outcomes are great for yep. children's uh, for children that come from two parent households where the there's a father present and um he should know those and to have this like spray and pray attitude with uh with childbearing it's it's not just about creating human beings yeah it's about uh, creating families and and fathering uh, children who who are going to be set up for success in life and and yeah have a wholesome upbringing. Yeah, and I mean our our episode, our special episode of Unapologetic next month that's coming out, or is it this month? It's this month now. We're this in June. Month. Oh my gosh, it's this month. June nineteenth. Uh, yeah, June nineteenth. It's going to be about fatherlessness and this issue. And just because Nick Cannon's a celebrity and he has money, and Elon Musk is a celebrity and he has money and he has all this wealth, does not mean he's not creating a fatherless home. I want to make that extremely clear. And even if he's there every now and then, it does not mean you're not creating a fatherless home. And the when you look into this issue in particular and how it affects children, even wealthy children, even privileged children, it's horrifying. Everything that can go wrong when you grow up without your father being present, obesity, homelessness, prison time, uh, chronic illness, going to jail, dropping out of school. So many different things and different ailments can appear in your life simply because you did not have that one important prerequisite, as Thomas Sowell would call them, of having a father present in the household uh, to, to instill values or to just be there to represent what is a male figure for you. And the, it is no exception for people who are celebrities. It is no exception for people who have money. So if you look at this and go, oh, great thing, whatever, he's got the money to take care of it. There's so many things that your presence is the only thing that can take care of it. So uh, money and, and wealth and fame mean absolutely nothing. So this, I just don't think, should be applauded whatsoever. And it was just crazy to me to see people who were like, I don't care, whatever. I mean, obviously, it's another person's life. How much can you possibly care about what Nick Cannon does in his day, day to day? But just the principle itself, uh, saying that this is something that is totally fine and that we could encourage as a society. No, 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 no. Shame on you, nine children, five moms. My goodness. Now, 